The Organisation for Security and Cooperation in Europe has concluded that the shelling which killed 30 people in the government-controlled port city of Mariupol last Saturday came from territory controlled by Russian-backed militants. That's according to remarks from UN Political Affairs Chief Jeffrey Feltman, made at an emergency meeting of the 15-nation Security Council on Ukraine. Mariupol lies outside of the immediate conflict zone. The conclusion can thus be drawn that the entity which fired these rockets knowingly targeted a civilian population. This would constitute a violation of international humanitarian law. We must send an unequivocal message. The perpetrators must be held accountable and brought to justice. U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. Samantha Power condemned Russia for assisting the militants in seizing more Ukrainian land. Unfortunately, we are back here today because Russia and the separatists have once again flouted these commitments. The targets are fresh ones, but Russia's end goal remains the same, to seize more territory and move the line of Russian-controlled territory deeper and deeper into Ukraine. Russia, which Western Council members accuse of sending troops and weapons to bolster the insurgents in Ukraine, has veto powers and can block all council action. Last week, Russia blocked a UN Security Council resolution condemning the Mariupol attack.